This video is intended for Kumon Fishers West students. Um, so this is part two of the longer division on level C. Um, we are going to look at page C187 and some other related pages here uh, because this is roughly where um, you know slight difference actually starts to take place uh, from the the previous part. So again this is like the part two of the uh, three digit divided by one digit uh, problems uh, on pages C181 through the rest of it, rest of this level. Um, so here I think uh, many on the surface everything looks very similar to the previous video. Um, let's take a look at number, let's say, um, let's take a look at number seven here. We, we have three digit divided by one digit, so we want to imagine that there are three spots where we could potentially put our answers down. Um, one above each one of these numbers inside the division sign. Can the eight go into a seven? No, and we talked about this in the previous video, so we are going to skip that number. So we are not going to use that space. But the seven does not disappear, so we have to still work with 75 on this next spot. What's how many times can 8 go into 75? And this is where you have to use your multiplication skills to figure out 8 times what can either be 75 exactly or it can go really close to 75 without going over. So you have to go up as closely as you can without going over 75. And we know that 8 times 9 is 70 2. 8 times 9 is 72, which is really close to 75, but it doesn't go over it. And our next step is to subtract the 72 that we got from multiplying 8 times 9. And the answer there is 3. And in order for us to fill in this next spot, we have to bring the number 2 down and form 32 here. And the question is, what's 32 divided by 8? Another word, how many times can 8 go into 32? It's 4. 8 times 4 is 32, and when the subtraction occurs, it's 0. There's 0 in the remainder. So the answer to 752 divided by 8 is 94 with no remainder. Um, how about we move into number 2 here? Well, things can be a little bit different here. Again, we are working with three digits inside the division sign. So we are going to imagine that there are three spots that we can potentially put our answers in. One spot above each one of these three digits. One above the six, one above the one, and one above the five. So how many times can the three go into a six? In other words, what's six divided by three? It's a clean two. Because three times two is six. When we do our subtractions there, we know that 6 minus 6 is nothing. Um, for the next spot here, we are going to bring that number 1 down, 1. And this is a very important part. So we ask ourselves again, what's 1 divided by 3? Can the 3 go into a 1? No. Now, however, this is very different from here. Here, for this very first place, when the division is impossible because this number is too small for the 8, we had skipped it. But in all your division problems, the only possibility of skipping a space is when and if that spot is your first spot. Any spot after the first spot cannot be skipped. So in this case, if 3 cannot go into a 1, you cannot skip it. Instead, you would have to put a 0 here and 3 times 0 is 0 and proceed with your subtraction what's 1 minus 0? that's 1 good and then for this very next spot again you will bring down the next number right next to this 1 and to form 15 and we'll ask ourselves what's 15 divided by 3 or how many times can this 3 go into the 15 and we know it's 5 because 3 times 5 is 15 and when we proceed with the subtraction we get a 0 
Now, I know I'm taking a lot of space um, and taking away this, uh, the space for this problem number three. You know, you wouldn't want to do this uh, in, your, in your homework, uh, but I'm just writing a little bit larger so that you can see it easily. So keep that in mind. You can skip the first one if the division is impossible between these two numbers, but you can never skip the middle, any middle numbers or the last numbers. If the division cannot be done, then you will put a zero instead, and you cannot skip it. Um, so let's go to a, a more special one. So let's go towards way down, closer to the end of the level. Now here, uh, Kuman puts in another complication here. But again, this is page 197. There's a slightly more complicated problem because there's a remainder involved. But if you think back, we've done all of this. We've done divisions horizontally, vertically, one digit, two digit, and three digits. We also have done um, the divisions with remainders. This is a time we just have to collect all those things together and then put them into a single problem. So let's take the take a step here and then see what happens. Now Kuman was nice enough to uh, uh, show us that there are three spaces that we can work with. What's 8 divided by 2? Or how many times can the 2 go into an 8? It's 4. But it's a perfect match. 2 times 4 is 8. Do our subtractions. We know that there's nothing. But in order to tackle this very next spot, we'll bring the 3 down and ask ourselves, what's 3 divided by 2? Or how many times can the 2 go into 3 without going over? We know it's 1 because if we were to attempt to put 2 up there, 2 times 2 would equal to a 4. But remember, the rule is you can either match this number with your multiplications, or if you cannot match it, then you'd have to go up as closely as you can to this number, and but cannot go over it. So 2 times 2 would make our number go over the 3, so we would have to remain at 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And let's do our subtractions again. 3 minus 2 is 1. We still got one more spot to work with, so we would, we would have to bring this 1 down to form 1, or 11 there. Again, the next step is another division. What's 11 divided by 2? We know that 2 times 5 is 10, which is really close to 11 without going over that number. But 2 times 6 would be 12, which is also really close to 11, but we would have gone over this number 11. So we would have to stay with 2 times 5, which is 10. And when we do our subtraction, we would have 1 left. So this 1, since we have completed filling out all three of our spaces, possible spaces, this very last one becomes our final remainder. So the answer to the question 831 divided by 2 is 415 remainder 1. That's how it's done.